The National Archaeological Museum Greek, Ethnico -archaeologico Mausio in Athens houses some of the most important artifacts from a variety of archaeological locations around Greece from prehistory to late antiquity. It is considered one of the greatest museums in the world and contains the richest collection of artifacts from Greek antiquity worldwide. It is situated in the Exarchia area in central Athens between Epirus Street, Bubulinas Street and Tositsis Street while its entrance is on the Petition Street adjacent to the historical building of the Athens Polytechnic University. History The first national archaeological museum in Greece was established by the governor of Greece Ioannis Kapodistrias in Aegina in 1829. Subsequently, the archaeological collection was relocated to a number of exhibition places until 1858, when an international architectural competition was announced for the location and the architectural design of the new museum. The current location was proposed, and the construction of the museum's building began in 1866 and was completed in 1889 using funds from the Greek government, the Greek Archaeological Society, and the Society of Mycenae. Major benefactors were Eleni Tositsa who donated the land for the building of the museum, and Dimitrios and Nikolaos Vernardakis from St. Petersburg who donated a large amount for the completion of the museum. The initial name for the museum was the Central Museum. It was renamed to its current name in 1881 by Prime Minister of Greece Cherilaus Trikopis. In 1887 the important archaeologist Valerius Stace became the museum's curator. During World War II the museum was closed and the antiquities were sealed in special protective boxes and buried, in order to avoid their destruction and looting. In 1945 exhibits were again displayed under the direction of Christos Caruzos. The south wing of the museum houses the epigraphic museum with the richest collection of inscriptions in the world. The inscriptions museum expanded between 1953 and 1960 with the architectural designs of Patroclos Carantinos. The building The museum has an imposing neoclassical design which was very popular in Europe at the time and is in accordance with the classical style artifacts that it houses. The initial plan was conceived by the architect Ludwig Lang and it was later modified by Panagis Kalkos who was the main architect, Armodios Vlachis and Ernst Ziller. At the front of the museum there is a large neo-classic design garden which is decorated with sculptures. Expansions and renovations The building has undergone many expansions. Most important were the construction of a new east wing in the early 20th century based on the plans of Anastasios Metaxas and the construction of a two-storied building, designed by George Namikos, during 1932–1939. These expansions were necessary to accommodate the rapidly growing collection of artifacts. The most recent refurbishment of the museum took more than 1.5 years to complete, during which the museum remained completely closed. It reopened in July 2004, in time for the Athens Olympics and it included an aesthetic and technical upgrade of the building, installation of a modern air conditioning system, reorganization of the museum's collection and repair of the damage caused by the 1999 earthquake. The Minoan Frescoes rooms opened to the public in 2005. On May 2008 the culture minister Mihalis Liapis inaugurated the much-anticipated collection of Egyptian antiquities and the collection of Eleni and Antonis St. Athatos. Today, there is a renewed discussion regarding the need to further expand the museum to adjacent areas. A new plan has been made for a subterranean expansion at the front of the museum. Collections The museum's collections are organized in sections. Prehistoric collection The prehistoric collection displays objects from the Neolithic era BC, early and mid-Bronze Age BC and 2000–1700 BC respectively, objects classified as Cycladic and Mycenaean art. Topic: 
Neolithic Era and Early and Mid Bronze Age Collection There are ceramic finds from various important Neolithic sites such as Domini and Sesclo from Middle Helotic ceramics from Boeotia, Attica, and Theotis. Some objects from Heinrich Schliemann excavations in Troy are also on display. Cycladic art collection Cycladic collection features the famous marble figurines from the Aegean islands of Delos and Charis including the Ludist. These mysterious human representations, which resemble modern art and inspired many artists such as Henry Moore, came from the 3rd millennium BC old cemeteries of Aegean islands along with bronze tools and containers. Mycenaean art collection Mycenaean civilization is represented by stone, bronze and ceramic pots, figurines, ivory, glass and faience objects, golden seals and rings from the vaulted tombs in Mycenae and other locations in the Peloponnese Turins and Dendra in Argolis, Pylos in Messenia and Vafio in Laconia. Of great interest are the two golden cups from Vafio showing a scene of the capture of a bull. Heinrich Schliemann finds Mycenaean collection includes also the magnificent 19th-century finds of Heinrich Schliemann in Mycenae from the Grave Circle A and the earlier Grave Circle B most notable are the golden funerary masks which covered the faces of deceased Mycenaean nobles. Among them, the most famous is the one that was named erroneously as the Mask of Agamemnon. There are also finds from the citadel of Mycenae including relief stelae, golden containers, glass, alabaster and amber tools and jewels. Other features include an ivory carving of two goddesses with a child, a painted limestone head of a goddess and the famous warrior's vase dating from the 12th century. <laughs> Egyptian art collection The Egyptian collection dates back to the last 20 years of the 19th century. Notable is the donation of the Egyptian government which in 1893 offered nine mummies of the era of the pharaohs. However, the Egyptian collection is mainly by two donors, Ioannis Dimitrio in 1880 and of Alexandros Rostovic in 1904. In total the collection includes more than 6,000 artifacts, 1,100 of which are available presently for the public. The collection is considered to be one of the best collections of Egyptian art in the world. The exhibition features rare statues, tools, jewels, mummies, a wooden body tag for a mummy, a stunning bronze statue of a princess, intact bird eggs and a 3,000-year-old loaf of bread with a bite-sized chunk missing. The exhibition centerpiece is a bronze statue of the princess priestess Takashit, dating to around 670 BC. Standing 70 cm high and wearing a gown covered in hieroglyphs, the statue was found south of Alexandria in 1880. St. Athatos Collection The St. Athatos Collection is named for the donors and major Greek benefactors Antonis and Eleni St. Athatos. The collection features about 1,000 objects, mainly jewels as well as metal objects, vases, and pottery from the Middle Bronze Age to post-Byzantine era. Features of special note are the Hellenistic period golden jewels from Carpenisi and Thessaly. <laughs> Artists and artifacts Some of the ancient artists whose work is presented in the museum are Myron, Scopas, Euthymides, Lydos, Agoracritus, Agashes, Pan Painter, Wedding Painter, Maligar Painter, Simon of Cleone, Nessos Painter, Damophon, Aeson Vase Painter, Anilados Painter, Polygnotos Vase Painter, Hermanax. Collections include sculpture work, Lutrophoros, Amphora, Hydria, Skyphos, Crater, Pelike, and Lekathos vessels, steel, frescoes, jewellery, weapons, tools, coins, toys and other ancient items. 
Artifacts derive from archaeological excavations in Santorini, Mycenae, Turins, Dodona, Vafio, Ramnus, Lycoshora, Aegean Islands, Delos, the Temple of Aphaea in Aegina, the Sanctuary of Artemis Orthia in Sparta, Pylos, Thebes, Athens, Vari Cave, the Antikythera Wreck, and from various other places in Greece. The museum houses the archaic terracotta statuette Daedala that inspired the designers of the 2004 Athens Olympics mascots Athena and Phevos. New exhibits Two of the newest exhibits of the museum include a 4th century BC golden funerary wreath and a 6th century BC marble statue of a woman, which were returned as stolen artifacts to Greece in 2007 by the Getty Museum in California, after a 10 year long legal dispute between the Getty Center and the Greek government. One year earlier, the Los Angeles Foundation agreed to return a 4th century BC tombstone from near Greek Thebes and a 6th century BC votive relief from the island of Thassos. Museum highlights Library of archaeology The museum houses a 118-year-old library of archaeology with rare ancient art, science and philosophy books and publications. The library has some 20,000 volumes, including rare editions dating to the 17th century. The bibliography covers archaeology, history, arts, ancient religions and ancient Greek philosophy, as well as ancient Greek and Latin literature. Of particular value are the diaries of various excavations including those of Heinrich Schliemann. The collection of archaeology books is the richest of its kind in Greece. The library has been recently renovated with funds from the Alexander S. Onassis Foundation. Its renovation was completed on 26 May 2008 and is now named after Alexander Onassis. <laughs> <laughs> Museum activities Conservation laboratories Photographic Archive and Chemistry Laboratories Organizes temporary exhibitions in the museum and abroad Hosts a large number of archaeology-related lectures in its lecture hall annually. Visitors' information The museum is accessible by the Athens Metro. The nearest stations are Victoria Station and Ammonia Station. The museum houses a gift shop with artifact replicas and a café in the sculpture garden. The museum is fully wheelchair accessible. There are also facilities and guides for hearing impaired visitors. For the latest activities of the museum, including the currently running periodic exhibition, visit the official museum's blog, www.all4nom.com See also <laughs> <laughs>